Hey Manual Artists. Today I want to have a, a brief conversation about something that's just about as fundamental to what we do as there can be. And that is using the tape measure, just like a kind of 101 about tape measures. I should have done this earlier, but I've had some conversations with folks online and we're trying to like figure out what's going on uh, for on their project using a tape measure and I just realized like, oh, we need to go over this, this sort of bread and butter stuff. So. I'm quickly going to go over like five or six things. You must take notes of this because it's something I want you to learn and never have to think about again. All right, first thing I want to say is, um, you know, just like our, the tool itself. I want to show you something. Like if you're a professional, you should always do this, all right? Um, watch what I do here. When, when, you, when you let your uh, tape measure slide back in, you don't just let it, I'm not even going to do it, but you don't just let it go on its own and crash onto here because this little tip eventually will bust off. It's only got three little rivets there and it's very thin metal. So if you're a, a real workman, what you always do is you keep your finger there. See where my finger is? And you break it, you let it come in and you kind of break it like that and then you let it bump up against it. That's just like the way any good carpenter or woodworker always does that because it saves the tool, okay? That's the first thing. Use your finger as the brake, uno. Um, okay, another one is there's two basic uh, terms we use when we're measuring things, okay? Let me show you this. If I'm on a job or I'm doing something and I want to use the, um, I want to measure between things, I butt this up to it, you know, like a butt joint, you, you butt things. So you, if I, if I say to someone like, hey, um, measure to that uh, bench, and I say, uh, butt, it, butt it on the bench, that means I'm gonna just slam it into it like that, that's a butt. And then the other one is hook. So if I say hook it, hook it, that's one measure, and then butt it is a different one, so that's another one. And here's the interesting thing. If you do the math, you can figure out that butting and hooking will give you different measurements, but this this little and you can try this on your own. This little uh, this little tip here or this hook here is actually designed. I don't know if you can see it. It moves in and out, and it moves in and out just the amount of the thickness of that. So uh, that takes into account the butting and the hooking. Okay. Um, check check that on on your own tape. You may not have realized that. Okay. So butting, hooking, stopping with your finger. Okay. Um, all right. Here's another thing. Let me show you another thing. So let's say you got to zoom in here. Let's say I want to measure between two lines, okay, or some kind of precise measurement. You know, it's hard to figure out exactly where, if you try to, let's say I want to measure between these two lines. It's hard sometimes to figure out like where to put it precisely to get a really good measurement. So what we do is we do this. We actually put it on the one or the two or whatever. You just actually stick it right on uh a, a, um, a place that's obvious, like like an increment of a unit, like two or one, and then you can measure really cl clearly, right? So it goes from, I'll do it on the one actually. So there it is, there's one, and then it's at five and three quarters. That means it's four and three quarters because I'm on the one, not on the zero, okay? So rather than going like this and trying to figure out where to place this thing, you, you have a really precise uh, measure if you stick it on there. If certain certain situations you'll want to do that. Okay, that's another one. Um, okay, the other thing is just about increments. This is the one that a lot of people have trouble with. So I'm going to show you the tape really closely, and I have a little pointer tool here because I'm going to I'm going to need to I'm going to need to do that. All right, so check it out. Um, come on in here, and I'm not going to do it here because this is where the tip is. It's in the way. Let's take it between the two and the three. Okay, so the on your usual tape measure, this is a good one. This is a um, this is a Craftsman. This is a good good one. I'm sorry, it's a Stanley. And uh, let's see, it says Stanley right there. Um, it's got 16 marks, right? So there's and they're also you'll notice that they're not all the same length either, and that helps you. So the longest one is the half, right? So there's two and a half. The next shortest ones you'll see there's one, two of those. So it's a quarter, a half, three quarters, one, right? Zero, a quarter half, three quarters, one. And then there's, after that, the next longest ones are eighths, right? So eighth, quarter, three eighths, half, five eighths, three quarters, seven eighths, one, okay? And then the next one are sixteenths. And um, so, you know, because it's, you know, one sixteenth, eighth, three sixteenths, quarter, five sixteenths, three eighths, and so on, okay? So the way a, a typical woodworker thinks about things is he always thinks about them in these increments, right? So if it's if it's um, a sixteenth past the half, I know that's well, a half is eight sixteenths, so it's nine sixteenths, right? If it's a sixteenth less than a half, well, I know a, a half is eight sixteenths, so it's seven sixteenths, and so on. 
And that's how we talk. We talk about quarters and eighths and sixteenths. We don't use 0.125 or 0.5 or 0.25. That's just like, that's math class, not the job site, okay, or, or the workshop. So those are the increments, right? They, they're the little guys of the sixteenths. So I heard, I was talking to someone the other day, he's like, oh, it's it's six sixteenths. Don't say that. You know, think back in the old math class where you, you know, you want to like simplify your fractions. So six sixteenths is three eighths. Okay, um, and you don't need to count sixteenths. I wouldn't do that either. This person was having such trouble. He's like, let's see, it's one sixteenth, two sixteenths. No, you just go like this. You go half. Let's say it was nine sixteenths. You just go half plus a sixteenth. So that's a sixteenth more than a half, which is nine sixteenths. Or here's three quarters, right? Well, one sixteenth plus you know uh, three quarters is twelve sixteenths. So this is thirteen sixteenths. Uh, Fourteen sixteenths, which we don't say. We say seven eighths, and one more is fifteen sixteenths. So you get used to that, but I want to, um, your typical tape measure has divided into sixteenths, but think about these lines that are longer. That'll help you figure out like where you are on the tape measure, okay? Um, so we talked about the way you speak about these things, the different increments, the way you should break it with your finger, hooking and uh, budding. So that's a good little 101 about the tape measure. Stay tuned.